Hey y'all, I'm Justina the Gorgeous Oracle and I'm back with another update reading. This is for Aries mid-June 2021. Before I get into the reading, can you please like, share, and subscribe to my channel? And can you follow me on Instagram at I am underscore Justina Nicole? And if my readings resonate with your situation, can you feel free to donate to my channel? So Aries... I have the Knight of Pentacles. I have the Page of Pentacles. I have the Knight of Wands in reverse. I have the King of Cups in reverse. And I have the Four of Swords in reverse. Uh, upright, I mean. <laughs> upright, not reverse. For additional messages, I have Coffin. Girl talk, karmic relationship, hammer, and for the overall message, I have new life, so Aries, I got everybody out here. I have earth, fire, water, and um, air. I got everybody. So if it, whatever resonates with your situation. So Aries, um, just from looking at these cards... It's like you don't really care for love and relationships right now. I'm getting that you just focused on your 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 finances and your career. <laughs> like that's what I'm getting from this reading. I'm getting like your money is good. Your money is looking real long, okay? You got racks on racks on racks, like straight up. You making some good money. And I feel like you making good money. You being cautious on how you spend your money, what you spend your money on. It's like you just being a responsible adult. That's what I'm getting from this reading. It's like you've taken care of your... Uh, just taking care of yourself, taking care of your finances. Being cautious on what you spend your money on. I feel that in the past... Or it, it don't have to be the past, but I feel like... Aries, you could be dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. But I feel like you don't take neither one of them seriously at all. I feel like they both full of shit. And you know like they full of shit. So you don't care to take them seriously. The water sign could be a little bit older than you. And you could be uh, messing around with somebody outside your race, too. That's just a side message, but whatever the case is, this fire sign and this water sign, you can give two fucks about them. I feel like you sleep peacefully every night. Yeah, I'm just getting that love is just not on the agenda right now. I feel like you're open to love, like if it was to present itself. But this fire sign and this water sign, you already know, like, they not about shit. So, whatever. 
But I feel like you're not letting them, like, hold you back. Or you're not letting love hold you back or anything. It's like, I'm focused on myself anyways. You sleep good at night anyway. So, you can give two fucks about this water sign or this fire sign. Or just being in a relationship, period. I feel like you have other things to be worried about. To worry about. The reason why I say that because I have, it's a coffin, ending, bringing new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, transition. So I feel like you're more focused on yourself. I feel like you're growing and changing as a person. It's a girl talk. Oh, if I can pick it up. It's say time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So, I feel like you're hanging out with your friends. It doesn't bother you that you're single. You know how some people, they feel worthless, you know, because they single. They feel like don't nobody want them and stuff like that. But it's like, you don't care to be single or you don't care to be in a relationship. You got other shit going on. You hanging out with your friends. You happy to be single. You happy to be who you are. You living in the moment. You having fun. So it's like who gives a fuck about a relationship if you're in one or not. And then it's say like karmic relationship. Bleeding triggers. Resentment lessons. Letting go and loving you. So I feel like either this fire sign and water sign they taught you some lessons or it doesn't have to be them it could be from your past experiences has taught you lessons in love and taught you lessons in yourself and things you notice within yourself to where it was easy for you to stop fucking with this uh water sign and this fire sign because it's like you it's like now you take heed into the red flags because you learn from your past mistakes. So it's like you don't even care to even entertain these people because for one, you growing as a person. You listen to your intuition. You know when something isn't right. You know when you're not being treated fairly. You know how to let people go that's mistreating you. I feel like you are learning your lessons. And then it's a hammer, sabotage, rebuilding, working on it, persistent, repetitive. So I just feel like it's just new beginnings for you. As in, you know, you know what? Let me just focus on myself, get myself right, get my mind, body, and soul right. You know, stack my money, get myself together building for the future saving for the future it's like you're not letting these people distract you or like you're not letting love distract you it's like you're starting over it's like you have this new life of yours it's like you probably meeting um new friends new people and this is just like a whole new life whole new atmosphere whatever you're doing and you feel good about it you feel really good so that's all i got for you aries you got a new life um thank you bye bye